SNL star Pete Davidson is asking fans to sign a non-disclosure agreement before going to see his stand-up act that forbids anyone from making any comments or critiques of the show online or anywhere else. Maybe he should do comedy tour of North Korea. <laughs> because that is not going to work in this country. <laughs> but there's a I million mean, dollar penalty. There's a right? million dollar penalty if you violate the NDA, meaning he will sue you for a million dollars. I don't know why I think this is hilarious. I know that I, I shouldn't. I know that I should be like, this is horrible. But ever, ever since I read it, I'm like, this is the funniest thing I've heard. Like, I, he's, it's not going to work. Like, he can't do it. But I like that he's trying. I think that's a natural reaction. Though, yeah. I don't think he's serious. But I don't know. I he actually, he can't. Be. My thought is that he's trying to prove a point about how sensitive this culture has become. Yeah. I mean, Joy, you say all the time, yeah. you wouldn't do stand up today. I don't because it's do always it. about cancel, yeah. cancel, cancel. People don't go on college campuses anymore because yeah. the people are too sensitive. So, and look, he does SNL every weekend where he's publicly criticized. His love life is on every single Daily Mail piece that I read. So this to me is like, you know what, let's just prove a point here. Because if everything's canceled, we're not going to have comedians anymore. I wonder we're not going to have anything to laugh I wonder about if you can counter Sue if he's not funny. All right? I know. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't think it's, I, I uh. think he's serious, actually, because one of the theater employees said that the venue was unaware of the NDA until the day before the show, and concert goers were given a full refund if they refused to sign it. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So I, think I think it's it was, hilarious. I think he was actually serious, and, and I just, this is not a good job for him. Yeah. No. He cannot be a stand-up <laughs> comedian. You can't be on television because the amount of criticism you get is what it's you like, get. You have to be able to put yourself out there. He wants to have cake and eat it too. Like he wants yeah. to do stand up and as women who are live unscripted on TV yeah. um, it's very hard for all of us like, I'm yeah. speak for the table to even relate to this on any level because you come <laughs> out here and you put your head on the line every day with the things you're going to do and say. So I think it's strange the and idea that you... And y'all come after us on the daily. Yes and we see yeah. it and hear it. Yes and I think the idea that he wants to have this collaborative experience where you're in front of a live audience but then not take the hits as well. That's not how it works on Boy, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, you've got to come in and you've got to put yourself on the line. And comedy, I think, is, is social commentary as well. And you want to make social commentary about the times you're in, but you don't want to have the heat in the kitchen. How millennial are you? Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but people take things out of context. I yeah. know, but I also it's think not, that you know. people take things out of context. We all experience this. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it comes with the territory. And, like, just be respectful and, you know, not a, a bigot or a crazy person. And you've been on the show 22 years, man. I, mean, I think that it somehow has worked trouble. for you. Plenty. Yeah, exactly. but, but you haven't been yeah. canceled from society. You're sitting no. across but you know, from me. No, but I w as I said before in the meeting, I said I would not do a, a, a podcast right now because I, mm. my mouth will start but running, that and then I'll get in trouble here. But that's my, that's my yeah. point, is maybe he's trying to send a, a broader message about <laughs> where... Your mouth runs, though. It's I'll start so running great. my mouth so it. bad, they will can't... Do it, Joy. <laughs> do it! <laughs> Do it, I, Joy. Can't, I can't be trusted. <laughs> do it, Joy. Really I, I can't. You do a do live it. show but every he... day. You'd be okay. You do live television. I have. I know how to do this one though. This but... one, there are there are like. Um, like a, a natural inhibitions here that you put into yeah, place yeah. when you come out here. But on a but radio, a you act like you feel like you're on the culture. telephone. But he's podcast, also, he's also um, uh, <laughs> is making people take away their, their smartphones, like put their smartphones away. I don't know that I disagree I with that. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. I think no I, photos I, I, okay. just, Wait a minute. No photographs and no taping. Yeah. But this is different. Okay. And NDA is a whole other story. I, I honestly think he's trying to just prove a point or send a broad. If, if he's very serious about this and there's something more problematic going on. Well, because problematic. That, that's just we not We got your normal. point. We got yeah. your point. <laughs> don't do it. I get the point. I just don't agree with it. Yeah. Well, well, Jerry, Seinfeld, yeah. Fam oh, Jerry Seinfeld famously stopped doing colleges for this exact yeah. reason. Yeah. I think if it's too hot in the kitchen, you should get out.